Before we go on with the service, I want to take a second to recognize what is happening again this week in our world. And these moments almost feel trite because we have repeated them, we have rehearsed them so many times. But again this week, a black man is shot in the back in a confrontation with police. A white man, a 17-year-old boy, drives across state lines with an assault weapon, shoots protesters, kills two people, and is peacefully arrested and taken into custody. The imbalance of what is happening around us all of the time is too stark. It is too clear for any of us to ignore. And this week we saw NBA players use their voice, their privilege, their power to speak out in a work stoppage to say things need to change in America, things need to change in Canada, they need to change in the world. And so it behooves all of us who have a voice, whether it is here on this live stream, in this church, in the places where we work, in the families that we participate in, for each of us to speak up for what is right and good and just in the world to trust that God is at work, that God's kingdom and commonwealth are coming, that earth can be made as it is in heaven, but that that only happens when we use our voice, we use the opportunities that we have to speak for justice and call for a better world. And so we lend our voice to all of those around our country, around America, around the world, calling for justice for Jacob Blake, justice for Breonna Taylor, justice for Ahmaud Arbery, justice for George Floyd, justice for all those who have not been afforded the privilege of living in peace in this world. For all those who long for peace, we pray.